What's up, Weirdo Shade Tree Surgeon here, and today we're going on what we'll call a slightly impromptu adventure, but listen up, baby, those are my favorite kind. Now, normally when I go on an impromptu adventure, I'm pretty confident in it because I'm just gonna stay in whatever hotel happens to fall in my path on the way. Just wherever I get tired, there's usually one on the end of a on the end of an exit, and we stop there. But uh, I made a drunken promise to one Amanda Zitto as the magpie flies, and I'll tell you guys this: uh, you ought to always do sober what you said you'd do drunk. I teach you to keep your mouth shut. Well. About to go get taught a lesson because I promised her that I'd go tent camping with her and then I didn't prepare at all. So I did, I have been motorcycle tent camping once and uh, I think it's in one of those things. That's like my entire loadout over there. I think there's like a, that's a sleeping pad. I've got some shoes, a bag, a chair. I think there's a tent in that. It hasn't been out since it got rained on in Oklahoma when I was at the Stubborn American camp out. Well, uh, I slightly remember a voice of reason telling me that I had to pull it out and dry it after I got back because I put it away wet and I think it was her two wheels that told me that. Well, I didn't do that, but I figure it's been in there long enough that if it did mildew, the mildew now went away. Fingers crossed. Well, when it comes to one of us, uh, one of us has saddlebags full of empty beer cans <laughs> and has the magpie flies. I mean, dude, this looks like, uh, I don't even know what. It does look very professional though. Oh my God, you wanna talk about the whitest thing I've ever seen in my life? You think I'm a dad with my Nikes? This is dad style. Dude, this thing is set up though. It doesn't make me nervous, because I know I'll just... Here's the thing about camping in the woods and not being prepared. You can always fill in the gaps of unpreparedness with alcohol. And so the worse you are prepared, the harder it is, the more uncomfortable it is, the more you have to drink to deal with it. So one way or the one way or another, Amanda, we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> I just might be stumbling there. <laughs> I'm just here to make sure that you're hydrated. That's all. I need someone to tell me to drink water and a lot of other things, too. You know, all y'all are going on about my camp camping equipment and how it might not be prepared, but you also realize I'm riding almost a 40-year-old motorcycle that's only running on one carburetor. <laughs> I wonder if I am forgetting anything. Buy one. They're a thousand. You can buy one for a thousand dollars. How many people just said buy one? Three? Yeah. You buy one, Jeff, you buy gold when you guys are set up. Adventure awaits! Then the best kind of adventure is unplanned. And the best kind of traveling companion is one who plans, so I don't have to. Well, now you get to experience the stab and grab. It's my favorite place. I love it here. Never a dull moment. Jesus, this take 93? Yeah. Okay, well, this is your your lucky day over here. I guess I'm regular, it's okay. Put it in, I don't give a crap. 93. Drinking that, that Perrier of gas over here. Not from this pump, all right? Usually you like to put a rubber on that thing before you stick it in your bike. <laughs> uh, you didn't, though. You like to live dangerously. I dig your style. <laughs> We're on very, two very different Hondas right now. <laughs> Both long distance bikes, but incredibly different. We got two cylinders versus six, 500 cc's versus 1500, and uh, probably about 35 years worth of technology, too. Okay, I'm putting earplugs in. I won't be able to hear you. That's cool. I don't really have that much to say anyway. That's a lie. I'm pretty sure I know better. <laughs> Adventure start music. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Judas Priest running wild. Woo! Come on, baby. Never a dull moment at the stab and grab. Hell yeah. Let's rock and roll, baby. I was born ready. It's all a matter of perspective, though. When I'm, I always say I'm ready, what I really mean is I'll go with no preparation at all. So, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, we're doing it Magpie's way in so much as we're not taking the highways, which is not normal me. More normally, I just, like, blast off on the highway and just crush miles the whole way there. But uh, my girl Magpie back there, she likes to take the scenic route. But uh, Nebraska's not that scenic, so I think we'll go ahead and uh, skip that, get off at Bears, get back on 41 to get where we're headed. Now, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of exciting things to see on Nebraska Avenue. And if you're from Tampa, you know exactly what I mean, but... Something tells me that ain't the scenery that old Amanda's looking for. Normally, I'm waving goodbye to Tampa as I pass Bears because that's the point of no return. Doing back roads, I guess it's a little different. We'll just take a two Bears and get off here. Same difference, I guess. See you later, Tampa. Oh, baby, it's my song, Reckless. Come on. 
People sometimes ask me, Josh, you've been in so many motorcycle accidents. Are you just like a like a really terrible rider? And well, I'm not the best rider. <laughs> I've been in so many motor bike accidents because I'm bad at riding. I'm just I'm just kind of reckless. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, I'm still feeling it from the weekend. All right. <laughs> There's just, it's half water, half water, half monster. It's hydration. All right, first pit stop, a whopping 40 miles in because I got a bladder the size of a Girl Scout. <laughs> Back on the road, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, when I talk about being unprepared, that goes for pretty much about everything, including uh, not taking a piss before we hit the road when I knew I should have. Amanda keeps asking how much I'm gonna complain, but the real question is, is how annoyed is she gonna get? Uh, you know what, as we pull out of here, just getting outside of not just Tampa, but outside of all the kind of towns that cluster up around it, and I see these long expanses of green out here. Maybe there's something to this whole back road thing, Amanda. I don't know. Oh, oh look at Amanda go. All right, girl. <laughs> The, the real question is, is old single carburetor GL1500 going to be able to make those passes for too much longer? Passing the Withlacoochee River. Only in Florida, baby. <laughs> I do be loving to talk shit about Massachusetts and Minnesota, how they're named, but <laughs> they got, ain't got Chaskowitza and Withlacoochee up there, I guess. Oh, don't we forget that whatever gas station we go to, remember you get like a plastic fork. I assume you only have one fork. <laughs> I just thought of that right now. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, we were in a Walmart. <laughs> I'm sure they'll have it at the gas station. Maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll just put it in a bag and smash it up and I can drink it. <laughs> it's all going to the same place. Back on the road, baby. Almost to our campground tonight. <laughs> I got a. Uh, I'm carrying the food, but I'll tell you, Amanda up there, she said she's cooking for me tonight. And I ain't never done much cooking on the side of the road. Normally I stop in a restaurant before I go to a hotel, but we're doing things just a little bit different this time. <sighs> Been all over the place, baby, but let me tell you what. I still think Florida's absolutely gorgeous. Ah, well, I say I've been all over the place. I've been a couple places. Compared to most people, I ain't barely been anywhere. It's the last place before the campground we could get cold beer. Normally, I don't really drink good beer, but normally it's a little bit better than Natty Daddy, but I don't know how cold these are gonna stay. I don't know how long it's gonna take us to get there, so if, I want it just to work. So I was like, okay, 8% seems about the best they got here. If you don't wanna have to drink too much of it, if it doesn't taste good, it better at least work fast. All right. Perfect. We should get there just in time for it to be dark when we set up our tents, right? <laughs> now it's time to go this way up and down that way. Okay. Sure. I'm following you. Okay. <laughs> well, ain't that the trade-off? I promised I'd go camping. I told uh, I told Amanda she could get me in a in a tent. But I'll tell you, if you get us lost, we're doing a hotel. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say that now we're really off the beaten path. I'm trusting you, Amanda. <laughs> I thought here's the whole thing. We get lost back here. I don't know if we're going to be able to even find a hotel. If we don't find that campground, we might be pitching a tent here on the side of the road. We got to be getting close. We can almost see the... No, not almost. There's the water. We can see the bay from here, baby. Going to a place called Horseshoe Cove camping on the water. I don't know if it's the beach or not, but it's right on the water, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, dude. This is freaking awesome. I'm pretty sure Amanda just freaking picked, threw a dart and picked this place out. Dude, what a freaking winner. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just because I don't normally camp in a tent doesn't mean I don't enjoy being out here in nature, okay? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, this is awesome. You're not allowed. Come on. Ow, oh, they'll never take me alive. That's why I got this baby. <laughs> that sure is a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. Oh, here we go. No, this is where it's at. Here we go. We got plenty of room. I was like, dang, man. Freaking booked up. Looks like there's plenty of tent camping over here, though. What did homeboy say the deal was? We all good? Yeah. Okay, cool. He was just a little long-winded. 
<laughs> I was I was like, either we're getting read the riot act over there or homeboy can freaking tell a story. The sign said no alcoholic beverages. Actually, I don't, did it say that? I didn't read it. Shh. I'm glad it said no alcoholic beverages. It makes them taste just a little bit better. Boy, I think I might even have t room for two in my tumbler here. Hell yeah, look at that, baby. Let's take cold for a little bit. It'll be our little secret. Come fight me. Man, I tried to put these tent stakes in the ground at a place outside of Florida. I never camped there. I was like, holy mackerel, dude. Make the ground hard in other places. <laughs> hey, you don't need them here. He's like, where's your hammer? I was like, what, do you, what would I bring a hammer for? <laughs> It seems like the stakes are supposed to go not through them little eye holes, but the other ones. Where did you put them? Oh, oh. these things. <laughs> but now they're in there. Oh no. But I'm like, I set it up somehow last no. time. Why'd they put that hole right there? It looks because like it's supposed this, to take them. This goes Pull out the stake. They just left it in there because they couldn't get them back them out. in there. Oh. Yeah. I'll be able to figure it out. See, I'm smart. I don't smarter, know. Than, smarter than the damn instructions. Oh. <laughs> it's only do this way. Well, I don't know what engineers, Mickey Mouse engineers, they use, but I figured out a better way. I don't know what the, like, the, the adjective is. To camp. To camp. Pretty sure. I didn't even, at the time, I don't even think I did it wrong. I was just like, freaking dumb dipshits who made this tent. You freaking did it wrong. <laughs> I got a defect. Yeah, I was like, you guys are dumb as hell, dude. <laughs> Look at that. And I, I, mine's done, and hers ain't, and I had her slowing me down because I need to show her how to do it. <laughs> Holy mackerel, dude. Well, I can't be getting in a sleeping bag. I gotta be free, baby. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. I can't get trapped in a sleeping bag. I'll be losing my mind in that thing. Especially if I'm drunk. Old man is over here sitting on the ground while I sit over here on my throne just chopping chopping up some tomatoes, tomatoes making, making us dinner. While I drink my illegal juice. Life ain't bad, baby. <laughs> Life. I'm sorry. I feel I, no. We've had we've been having a great time, and this has been so wonderful. And she's cooking me dinner, mostly because I don't think she would trust me to do this because I don't cook outside. I mean, I could grill if we brought a grill, which I actually might have been able to fit a grill on the Goldwing if I packed a little better. The thing about the Goldwing is, is when you have all the space in the world, you don't learn how to pack very well. So when you need to pack well, you're all of a sudden you find yourself incapable of doing it unlike Amanda, who's very good at this. So thank you, thank you. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Enjoying this delicious Liter meal. Literally, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Pulls out that olive oil right there. I'm just like, that looks like drugs. I like that. I don't know, either drugs or shampoo. I guess it's olive oil though. <laughs> Let's hurry up, okay? Hurry up, the sun's going down. Sunset's happening. I wanna have a sunset meal. Wait, where's the Alfredo sauce? No Alfredo sauce. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've been misled by me. Because <laughs> somehow, for some reason, I assumed there would be Alfredo sauce. Absolutely. Maybe there's some wild Alfredos grown on the trees out here that we can pick. Me and Amanda, we're out here enjoying this absolutely gorgeous sunset. And oh my God, look at that light, baby. That's about it, man. That's about as good as Florida gets right there, all right? We're out here enjoying this absolutely gorgeous sunset here in the woods. There's children playing around, making happy kid noises. And some people don't like the kids sound that kids make, but I, I actually do, man. Hearing a couple happy kids running around makes me feel real good and happy. Yeah, there you hear them yelling in the distance like that. That means everyone's out here having a good time. There's children out here enjoying nature. I like that. You know, talking YouTube, doing all those things and making our films and stuff like that. And I just said, you know, I've been around a few people here and there uh, who do YouTube videos who they'll film all this stuff, this gorgeous sunset, this these, these beautiful environs here in Florida. And they and all they care about is the film. I just said to Amanda, okay, let's go down to the end of that pier, sit down for a second and have a drink. She chose to abstain, but I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting drunk. But I said, hey, let's go down there, but take your camera, but also don't forget to enjoy it. And then we both sat here and agreed, ain't that, ain't that it? The difference between uh, what we're doing and what some other people might have tried to do and aren't doing is you always have to also enjoy it. Enjoy making the video and also enjoy the moment. Yes. It takes both. Definitely. Now, let's go get that sunset. Oh, we were Shh. Shh. 
she she goes, I can't believe how lucky we were. I, I only can't believe it when I'm not lucky. That's the state of mind, baby. Look at this, I love this. Look at all these kids out here. Everyone's like, kids these days only play video games. Give me a freaking break, dude. There's plenty of people out here bringing their kids into nature and letting them enjoy this. Because I hate that, because that gives the idea that people are like, kids these days are doing that. Get off, get off with that shit. There's plenty, there's plenty of kids out there. There's plenty of people out there who are taking their kids out to nature and they're having a good time in it. Give me a freaking break. And also like, give me a break of the video game crap too, man. I bet all them kids play video games and probably like them. Yes. But they're also out here and having a good time here. For the record, I play video games. There you go. Like, give me a break. I, I hate that. I was like, can you believe what video games are doing to people? Like, come on, man, look at this. I hate that, look at this, look at this, man. He's out here loving life, playing pretend, screaming, yelling. We're gonna having a great time. I love how you can see just the shape of this place. They call it Horseshoe Bay. Which I know, I thought that was for horseshoe crabs initially. God's perfect creation, unevolved for 400 million years. But I imagine it's just because this place is uh, kind of a kind of a horseshoe. <laughs> okay, with the help of Blind Thistle over here, with a uh, sorry, Blind Thistle, Amanda Zitto. Thank you. As the magpie flies, baby. I love a bunch of titles, all right? She cooked me a vegan meal here. Uh, and let me tell you what, man, you guys know I ain't not go. I got no problem with vegans. Uh, she ain't one, it just happened to be vegan. And it's delicious. It's oh. just easier to make vegan shit. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All right, camera is going off for the rest of the night. Look at that, good as new. You know, I exist within the good grace of man and, and nature apparently because I left my camera on the ground sitting face up and <laughs> not only did no one decide to ride off with it, but it didn't decide to rain on it either. And I might have a couple of critters, little bugs living inside it now, but as long as you guys keep the, keep the place maintained, It'll be all right. Great times out here with my girl as the magpie flies, Amanda Zitto. Thanks for getting me out. It was an uh, absolutely amazing decompress after an insane weekend full of a whole lot of drinking and a whole lot of partying and a whole lot of, you know, what we'll, we'll, we'll call them some left-handed cigarettes. Not not her. Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, bon voyage. It's only a couple hundred miles back to Ybor City for me. I think you got a few thousand. <laughs> The perfect exit song, baby. <laughs> Let's break free, baby. Come on. Old Krusty back there came around collecting the camp feed dues and he was getting them from everybody. <laughs> I saw him waiting outside people's tents. Good dude though. 10 bucks for both me and Amanda to stay there. That's a deal I'll take, all right? I even threw an extra 10 on him and said, hey baby, why don't you go have a beer on me later? Well, I stopped here in Inglis, Florida at the uh, Shrimp Landing to grab a bite to eat because I like trying new places and I've never been here before and in the parking lot. <laughs> it's holy mackerel, dude. I mean, you walk over here and you could be like, hey, this is a, uh, that's a pretty cool shovel head uh, sidecar rig over there, but this this thing, holy mackerel, dude. I don't know who owns this. I wonder if he's inside. <laughs> this sucker is out of control, man. I'm gonna have to see if uh, when he leaves, he'll let me freaking get some video of him firing this thing up. Come on, baby. <laughs> Whether you like trikes or not, that's something else right there. Well, dang, forgot to <laughs> forgot to film in there because I was so dang hungry, I just ate my food, but shrimp landed. You guys are the business, and apparently it's a big biker stop off, and I, I ain't the only gold wing out here, which always makes me feel a little bit better. Were I out here a different time, I'd be definitely be checking out that package, uh, package and lounge store. I always love a liquor store lounge. And unfortunately, I didn't get to see old boy start up his bike. Uh, <laughs> he looked like he was taking his time in there with his sweet tea, all right? And judging from the way this bike looks, I didn't really want to interrupt him. Y'all, that's gonna about do it for this episode. Huge thanks to Amanda Zitto as the magpie flies for taking me out on this uh, little camping adventure. Certainly I've been camping before, but 
<laughs> when you're going motorcycle camping, which I, I guess I said, I have been a few times, uh, things are a little bit different. And uh, as I'm planning a trip across the country on the Trans-American Trail on a sportster of dubious build quality, as in built by me, I need all the help I can get. So it was actually really nice to sit down and pick her brain about a few different things. I'll have a link to her channel down below. Make sure you go show her some weirdo love and tell her she tree surgeon sent ya. I still have a few t-shirts left from the Brabstar camp out. I thought they turned out really good. Old freaking Tammy the Swamp Witch riding around her flying alligator, throwing out drugs and alcohol to all those in need over the Florida skies. Still a few sizes left of that on the Brapstar website. That's www.brapstar.com. They won't last long. If you want one, grab it now. Until next time, y'all, keep it weird. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Everything that's wonderful is what I feel away.